What up YouTube, it is your boy All About The Sneakers back with another unboxing and review video for you guys. Now today as you can tell from the thumbnail as well as the title of the video, that is correct guys, we're unboxing the Converse Run Star Motion Space Jam A New Legacy. Now comment below guys, let me know if you all went after this sneaker or not. Now if you're not aware, there was a collaboration with Nike and Warner Brothers for the Space Jam A New Legacy movie and they did a slew of sneakers guys, they did drop tons and tons. Also if you're not aware, Nike does own Converse which is why this was a part of that same collab and this was actually one of my highly anticipated pickups for the collaboration. This is actually the most highly anticipated for me. Now this is a weird crazy sneaker. Sneaker. I know guys not everyone's cup of tea at all however for me I like to go a little bit crazy and on the wild side at times when it comes to sneakers especially colorful sneakers different sneakers things like that as far as hype goes if I get it I get it if I don't I don't I just like sneakers in general guys before all of the hype back in the 80s it was just about having something name brand on your feet and that is still what I stick to to this day so this happens to be one of those basic drops but a collaboration drop and for some people hey this may be the thing for me it is and and that is why I'm bringing this unboxing to you guys right here on the channel today. Now again, comment below and let me know if you all went after any of these sneakers or not. Let's see, they had some LeBron 18s. They had a couple of Air Force Ones, which I did pick up that Lola Bunny pair. You can go check that video out when you get some time. It is up on the channel, guys. Very, very dope sneaker in my opinion. However, they also did do some all-star Converse releases as well. There are also some upcoming Crocs to release as well. That is in collaboration with Space Jam, A New Legacy, another topic for another day but we are sticking to the topic in hand and that is the converse run star motion now if you're new to the channel or if you're not make sure you smash that like subscribe and share button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos now with no further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it all right guys and here we have the shipping box in hand shipped directly from converse purchased directly from converse so big ups to converse for the w on this sneaker now i did go after these on nike on release day however they dished out a huge l for your boy so i was able to head over to Converse and pick my pair up. Unfortunately, they did start to sell out by the time I got there, which was only about 15 minutes after the release. And unfortunately, my size did sell out, so I did have to go up half a size. A 10 and a half versus a 10, hopefully that is not an issue. There'll be a little bit of extra space if I do decide to wear these, but could have been worse. Could have been an 11, could have been a 12, something crazy like that. And I would never have had a chance to rock the kick. So it is what it is, guys. Now, another thing I did want to bring up about this shipment is there was a bit of some controversy on this shipment. Now I did start recording this video past Friday. I plan to have it up this past Saturday. However, that did not work out at all, guys. And I ended up getting a different sneaker in in the middle of the recording. After cutting the box open, I realized it was not this shoe. So I cut the recording on that, stopped the production on that video. And here we are today, finally getting in the hand. So I am a little bit happy today, guys, because I was not so happy the other day. Anyways, we get this here in a plain type of box. Nothing too advertising with Converse branding, thankfully. But I do have personal information on the box, so I'm not gonna show all of that. But we're gonna go ahead and dive right into it. As you can see here, I do have the new handy dandy box cutter on deck. Got the blade out. And we're gonna start by making a cut down the top of the box. Don't wanna go in too deep because you could cut the shoe box. Then we'll make a cut on one side of the box and on the other side of the box. And let's go ahead and get the box open. Aha, much better than what I got the last time when I tried to shoot this video. This is the actual shoe, guys. Whew, such a relief. All right, so they did include a receipt with the shipping label just in case I needed to return the shoes. Thank you for that, Converse. All right, guys, and here we have the shoe box. As you can see, it is a Galaxy style box and it does say Converse on the side, very clean. On the top of the box, we get that Space Jam, a new legacy branding. Looks very, very dope, guys. Love what they did with this box. Just a 
nice presentation overall and it does scream Space Jam as far as the theme goes for this box. Very dope. This is what I was so upset about if I did not get this package like I thought I wasn't going to get it this past weekend is because of this box guys. It is such a nice box. Good branding. And when I opened that Air Force One shipping box and I saw the Air Force One box, again go check that video out if you haven't already. I was not feeling that at all. They gave us a standard Air Force One box. It had a little bit of metallic on it but it had nothing to do with Space Jam. So I feel like it was sort of a lazy collab. They just threw together, threw some patches on a basic Air Force One and called it a collab. Could have did better. However, on one side of the box, we get our side sticker. And the side sticker reads Converse, Run Star Motion High. The colorway is Concord, white, black. This is a men's US size 10 and a half, women's 12. And on the Converse box, they do not include the pricing. However, if I can remember, I do want to say these retailed at 120 US dollars. All right, flipping the lid up on the box, as you can see, we do have our typical flip lid. Nothing special underneath the lid, just cardboard. However, we do get a quality control sticker right there. As you can see here, we do get our standard white tissue paper. And let's go ahead and get the shoe out. And there we have it, guys. The Converse Run Star Motion High Space Jam A New Legacy. Very crazy, very wonky sneaker. Very dope, in my opinion. Glad to have this one in the collection. Now, what we're looking at here is the medial side of the shoe. And I did want to show this side because it does have that Converse branding. Now, let's go ahead and do a quick 360 on the shoe. All right guys, so I'm just now looking at this sneaker for the first time with you all and in hand. This thing is crazy. I have never seen anything like this in my life. Now there are some Converse that are similar to this. I cannot remember the name of them. However, the sole is a lot more flat, but it is that thick, crazy sole. And that is the thing now guys, that is the in style, I guess you could say. Maybe not for everyone. Not everyone likes platform type shoes, but I have been seeing a lot of platform type shoes sprouting up. And again, like I say, those other Converse that are very similar look like these. However, these are a little bit more, I don't know, sleekish or wobbly or I really don't know how to say it guys, but very, very crazy looking sneaker. It is so thick, it's so high, I can't even believe it. But let's go ahead and go over the shoe a little in depth. And we are back to the lateral side of the shoe. Starting with our outsole here, we do get this rubber outsole in this pretty cool looking blue color, maybe a teal sort of a look. Very, very nice, but we do get these big, thick, rigid, grippable, tractor style type of shapes and textures here on the outsole as you can see it is very crazy it does look like it would be I don't know something on a tractor wheel we also get that same look here on the rear of the outsole except in black here on our midsole we do get a white midsole and this is a foam area you just kind of get this nice design just going all the way to the back all of that in foam this does look like it would be very very comfortable however on up to our upper here as you can see we do get this almost canvas like material maybe nylon or honestly not too sure it's not like nylon that we would get on an Air Jordan 1 tongue or anything like that. It just feels like some sort of fabric, almost a canvas-like or khaki-like feel. I'll go over this real quick. We do have a Converse hang tag here, and I want to get this out the way, so I thought I'd go ahead and show it to you guys. I'm not going to read that. I'll get a little bit close. Maybe you can pause the video and read it if you like, but we're getting this out the way. All right, and about that upper, as you can see, we do have an all-over galaxy print with some planets on there, some stars on there, the whole galaxy vibe with the Concord and the teal blue, just very, very very nice. I love galactic type of images and this is all over the shoe. Another reason why I wanted this guys is just screen space jam in my opinion. Very dope. Now here on these eyelets we do get some metal ring eyelets going all the way up the shoe and here on our toe cap which we'll go over here in a few we do get white rubber on the toe cap and basically guys just looking at the shoe overall it looks like a Converse all-star but with a futuristic twist to it and clearly a super duper thick outsole added onto it again with that tractor like texture traction grip on the outsole very very crazy love this shoe guys just because it is so different now i'm sure a lot of you guys think this is ugly as hell probably the worst thing you've ever seen in your life but that's where i come in play guys to bring things like this to the channel because your typical shoe tuber is not going to do it they just they're just not however guys that pretty much wraps up the lateral side of this one moving along and again back to the medial side of the shoe we get a very similar look as we got on the lateral side however we do get that converse all-star chuck taylor patch right there so even though they call 
Sculpties, the Run Star Motion. This is still a Chuck Taylor All-Star sneaker, guys. So as you can see, it does have that patch right there. And it is in that Looney Tune sort of look when Porky Pig said, they, 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 uh, they, they, they. that's all, folks. Please don't even quote me on that impersonation, guys. I had to do it. I just had to do it. I, I probably don't sound nothing like the guy. Maybe I do. Who knows? But hey, man, you get the point. But anyways, just an overall dope look having that on there. Very, very nice. Not much Space Jam branding going on with this one. Just that galactic galaxy type of look as well as that patch that does resemble the end screen on the Looney Tune. Moving along. Taking a look at the shoe from the top down. Again, we have that teal here on our outsole. We get that white rubber toe cap just like a Chuck Taylor. More of that galaxy print going completely up our tongue. Black, flat, standard laces in place. And right there on the top of the tongue, we do get Converse branding. The same style look we got on the side of the box. And we also have a half circle of that in circle theme that we do get on the Looney Tunes cartoons. Very, very nice in my opinion. Now guys, before we go any further, I did want to come back over to this patch. I did forget to mention this is a leather patch and it is stitched on. It's not painted. It's not cheap. It's actually stitched on there like they gave a damn. All right, and on to the back of the shoe. Very crazy, guys. You can see a huge portion of my face. Hopefully the camera is focusing on the shoe and not my face because it is so freaking skinny. It's crazy. Just look at the back of this, guys. I don't know if a foot could even fit in that. Now, as you can see, we do get that traction going up the back of our shoe in black pretty high up almost about midway up the back of the shoe and we do get that blue star right there in teal representing the all-star very clean we get a black back tab going up the rear of the shoe all the way up to that pull tab in teal and again so skinny i have no idea if a foot can even fit in this that's crazy guys i mean i know it's flexible and all but that just looks extremely crazy to me. All right, now I'm not gonna mess with the lacing or anything like that, so I'll go ahead and explain the interior of the shoe to you guys here. We do get that teal color going around our sock liner, as well as the back of our tongue, and we also have that on the insole as well. And the Converse text that we have here on our tongue is the same thing that we get on the interior of the insole. Now, it doesn't have that end screen Looney Tunes circle with it, it's just the Converse text in that Concord color. But we also get some tissue paper stuffed inside of the shoe, and that pretty much wraps it up, guys. We also have our size tag on the back of the tongue. All right, last but not least, the outsole of the shoe. Again, as you can see, that rigid traction, thick and grippy, just very crazy with the majority of the forefoot being in teal and the heel being in black. And then we also get that white foam right there in the center. And I'll turn it vertical so you guys can see it does have Converse branding right there. Pretty cool. But other than that, nothing too special about the outsole, just very traction. Now, I do think that that white will get dirty, but probably not so likely unless you step in a big mud puddle because the traction is so thick that the ground is probably not going to even touch the white part. However, right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for the also Moving along. But once again, you just saw right here on All About the Sneakers, the Converse, Run Star Motion, Space Jam, A New Legacy, a very crazy, crazy sneaker, probably the craziest sneaker that I have ever shown on this channel, guys. Comment below and let me know what you guys think. Go ahead, post your LOL emojis in the comments below. I like to see it and hear all of the laughs or if you have good things to say about the sneakers, I definitely definitely want to hear that as well but I do appreciate you guys commenting on the videos it goes a long way it does help the algorithm and I just like to interact with you guys as I am always in the comments trying to respond to every post I typically do respond to every post maybe not immediately it does take some time some days because I do have a life outside of YouTube and I have things to do but I get to them when I can so again I do appreciate it guys but just overall what do you think about that shoe is that crazy I don't know if I'll even wear this now I did get some Space Jam socks give me just a moment I'm gonna go grab those. All right, bam, got them right here, the Space Jam socks, guys, to go with those sneakers just in case I decide to rock these. If not, they'll both just be collectors for the movie. But I was able to pick these socks up at Box Lunch. Now, I told somebody where this was at. I don't know if you guys have these in your city, and I told them Lunch Box. Don't laugh, I know, crazy. Box Lunch is the name of the store, guys. And I went back there this past weekend, and these socks were gone, gone in the wind, sold out. I don't know, man, it's, it's Space Jams. It is what it is. But maybe you can find these online, or your box lunch may still have some in stock. Go check it out if you do want socks and you did pick up a pair of these or any of the other Space Jam sneakers. Now just to show the socks and the shoes side by side, I think it is a nice 
touch, definitely. I would've liked it better if the socks were actual Converse socks, would've really set it off, but for what it is, it is very dope, guys, and it does go together perfectly. However, again, if you're new to the channel or if you're not, make sure you smash that like, subscribe, and share button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Now, when you get a chance, head over to IG and follow me at All About The Sneakers, spelled exactly like it is here on the channel with a Z on the end instead of an S. I greatly appreciate it. But thank you all, as always, for watching. I really appreciate you guys tuning in, subscribing, doing all of that good stuff for the channel, sharing the video with your family and friends. Very, very much appreciate it. However, that is all I have for you guys on this episode. Until the next episode, keep keeping it all about the sneakers. Once again, it is your boy, All About The Sneaker, signing off. Until the next episode, I will catch you guys later. Salute, I'm out.